Kalahari Resort Hotel. Let's watch some TV. I put on Dora Gets Grounded. Gina, I really don't like you. Dora, I'm well aware of that. What is your point? I am going to do something about it. What do you mean? I am going to slap you on your face. What? Oh no 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 no. Dora. How dare you slap me on the face a lot. It hurts so bad. Wah 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 wah. That's it, I'm telling Mrs. Christina on you. Oh please no please no please no, that's too bad, I'm telling right now. Hello Gina, what's wrong, and why is your face red? My face is red because Dora slapped me on the face a lot. What? Oh my gosh, thanks for telling me. Dora will be in big trouble for this. You may go to the nurse's office to get an ice pack for your face. Dora, Gina just told me that you slapped her face a lot. Is this true? Um, 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 yes, it is true. I did it. That's it. Go to the principal office right now. Oh no 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 no. Go now. Hello Dora. Why are you here in my office? I slapped Gina on the face a lot. It was so bad that she had to go to the nurse's office. Oh. My. Freaking. Goodness. Dora, what you did was really bad. How dare you do something like that to Gina? You are definitely going to be in trouble for this. That's it, you are going to have detention. But since what you did was really bad, and since all these detentions that I have been giving you don't seem to be working, I will have to try something new with you. I will be giving you an overnight detention. An overnight detention. That's right. On Friday, you will not go home at the end of the school day, but instead, you will have a detention that will last until 11 a.m. On Saturday, the last time I had to give someone an overnight detention was back in 2010, but it seems like you really need it. Oh no. This sounds horrible. Please don't do this to me. Too bad. You get what you deserve. I am calling your parents now. Oh wait, your mother is already here. Hello Mrs. Kimberly. Mrs. Christina already called me and told me everything that Dora did. I assume that she will be punished severely. Yes, she has been given an overnight detention. On Friday, she will not go home after school, but she will stay for her detention that will last until 11 a.m. On Saturday, since what she did was really bad, and since she has already received so many detentions and they don't seem to be working, I had to try something new. This seems like a fair punishment. All right, Dora, here is your detention slip. You may go home early with your mother now, but be prepared for a very long day on Friday. Come on Dora, we are going home right now, and when we get home, you will be grounded. Dora, I cannot believe you slapped Gina on the face a lot, and then got an overnight detention for it. That's it, you're grounded for 989469843649859359 years. Now go to your room right now. Alright class, it is almost the end of the school day, so you may begin packing up your belongings. Today is Friday, and I'm sure that many of you have some fun plans for the weekend. Well, not you Dora. Yeah yeah, I already know that my weekend is ruined because I have to spend it with you. Well, actually, I will not be giving this detention. Instead, Mrs. Johnson will be your detention teacher. What? Not Mrs. Johnson. She is the meanest substitute teacher ever. Well then, you will just have to deal with it. 
All right, class. It is now 2.30. You are all dismissed. Everyone that is except for Dora. And Dora, Mrs. Johnson will be here any minute. Hello, Dora. Welcome to detention. And Mrs. Johnson. I'm sure you remember me from those times I have substituted for your class. Unfortunately, yes, I do remember you. Dora, do not talk to me like that. That is disrespectful. If you do not behave in detention, then I will give you additional detentions. All right, fine. All right, Dora, here are the rules. No talking unless told to. No eating or drinking except for when it is dinner or breakfast time. No sleeping except for when it is bedtime. No listening to music. No playing games. No cell phones. No crying like a baby. Do everything that I tell you to do. And there will only be three bathroom breaks. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All right then. The detention will begin right now. First, you will just sit and stare and do absolutely nothing so that you will be very bored, just like a normal after-school detention. Until 5.31 you will have dinner. Start now. I will be watching you. At 5.30. All right, Dora. You may stop sitting and staring now. It is dinner time. Yum, yum, yum. That spaghetti actually looks really good. Hold it right there, Dora. This food is for me, not you. You will be eating green beans and mashed potatoes. But I hate those foods. Well, that's too bad, Dora. You are just going to have to deal with it. After dinner. That was disgusting. But at least I ate it. All right, Dora. You may take a bathroom break. But be back in here by six so we can begin the next part of this detention. After Dora's bathroom break. All right, Dora. Now that you have finished your first bathroom break, it is time for you to do your homework. What? That's right, Dora. Even when you spend the night in detention, you still have to do your homework. But it is Friday. We don't have homework on Friday. Mrs. Christina left homework that is just for you and you will do it now. It is 25 pages. What? 25 pages? That is so much. Well then you better get started, because you have to finish it by 10. Start working now. At 10 o'clock. All right, Dora, I have collected your worksheet. Hopefully you finished, because Mrs. Christina is going to grade them. It is now time for a bed. But first, I will let you have another bathroom break. After Dora took her bathroom break. I am going to the teacher's lounge where I will sleep on an air mattress that I have put in there. I have put locks on the door and all of the windows to make sure that you do not escape detention while I am sleeping. You may now go to sleep and I will wake you up at 6 in the morning tomorrow for the next part of the detention. At 6 in the morning. Wake up, Dora. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. What? Where am I? Oh, right. I am still in this stupid detention. That's right, Dora. You will eat a bowl of cereal and take your last bathroom break, and then we will begin the next part of your detention. After Dora ate breakfast and took a bathroom break. Okay, Dora. The next part of your detention is physical education. Your PE teacher, Mr. Allen, is here for this part of your detention. Since when is PE a part of detention anyway? You need to get your exercise. Since this detention is an extreme punishment, you will be doing some very hard exercises for your punishment. Go outside with Mr. Allen now. I will see you again at 8. All right, Dora, it is time for some difficult exercises. First, do 200 jumping jacks. What? I'm not doing that. Do it right now, or else I will drop your grade in P.E. down to an F minus 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 minus. All right, I will do it. After a P.E. All right, I'm back from P.E. All right then, Dora. The last part of this detention is sitting and staring again, and then at 11, your parents will be here to pick you up. 
at 11 o'clock. All right, Dora. Detention is over. I hope this detention has taught you a very strong lesson. Your mother is here to pick you up. Yay, it is finally over. Yay, 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 yay. Let's go home right now. I'm so happy that the detention is finally over. Yay, 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 yay.